Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Today is a wonderful day. Wonderful day because you can see we have very powerful women in this room. I want to take this opportunity to read my speech and to enjoy with the women in this room. I'll start. The president of Women in Business, Madam Mary Mudoni, extinguished guests, invited speakers, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good morning. Today is a special day for us women, and I'm pleased to see each and every one of you gathered here. My name is Asha Hersi Moge. I am part of the Vice President of Women in Business. I would like to congratulate our President, Madam Mary Mudoni, for being steadfast in steering and supporting the women in business. She has taken us through many challenges whereby she has spearheaded this organization to greater heights, and her message today is every woman to formalize their business. Mary Mudoni has been a pillar of hope, and as we celebrate the women in business, we also celebrate the Women's Day, and we also celebrate her. I also want to appreciate our speakers today and wish to state that our speakers today are trailblazers and are of great influence to women in Kenya and women in business. Today is a part of a celebration for women in business to mark the Women's Day as the women, as the woman in Kenya and part of the women in business I would want to point out that the women in Kenya are not in a celebration mood. The women in Kenya are suffering and are not happy. The women in Kenya are carrying a lot of burden, especially during these hard times of COVID-19 pandemic and a harsh economic times. They have a lot, they have lost their husbands, they have, lo they have lost children, relatives, friends, businesses, wealth, breadwinners, and loved ones. But still, they have not lost hope. It is, uh, it is sad to state that 14 million people are on CRB. 21 people, 21 million people are on police alone. Who is going to save our women? Our mothers, our daughters, our sisters, our fathers, our husbands, and our brothers. We need divine intervention. Let's us pray for this country. Let us pray for our leaders and our wonderful people of Kenya. At this juncture, I would like to invite the clergy and the Muslim leader to pray for our beautiful country, Kenya. Alice. I will start with the first prayer. Thank you. Uh, Vice, uh, Pres Madam Vice President, I'm not a member of the clergy, but ladies and gentlemen, please let us pray. Father, once again, we want to thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Lord, thank you for the gift of life. Father, we do not take it for granted that we are here and healthy, but we just want to acknowledge your goodness of our lives. We want to thank you for everyone that is here and their family, every family represented here. Father, I just want to pray a special blessing and thank you that you've protected us and you've kept us. 
and you've kept us. And now, Lord, even we just want to bring this country into your able hands. We want to commit our country, Lord, to you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that's far you've continued to protect us, to take care of us. And my Father, we just want to commit even our leaders. We want to pray for our president and his deputy. We want to pray for all the political leaders, Father, Father uh, leaders in, our, in the corporate world, Father leaders, the religious leaders all over the, uh, the, our country. Father, we just want to pray, O oh God, that you continue to keep them, Lord, and protect them, O oh God. Father, give them wisdom. Give them guidance, oh my Father, even in, in, on how they will continue leading us, oh God. Father, we pray that you will continue to raise uh, leaders in our country, oh God, leaders of integrity, oh God, that will lead us in the way you would want us. You would want this country to be led, oh King of glory. And my Father, Lord, even we just want to pray, oh God, even for the security. We want to pray for our borders. We want to pray, Lord, even for the counties, oh my Father. Now, our Lord, oh Lord, railways and the airways, Father, we just want to pray, oh God, that you would protect us, oh God, uh, each and every household, oh God, wherever they are, oh God. We want to pray, Lord, even for, for your provision, O oh King of glory. Father, we want to pray, oh God, even as times are hard for everyone, oh God, that, Lord, we will believe your word, oh God, Father, because you are our source, oh God, and you continue to provide for us, oh God. We want to pray, O oh God, especially even for healing, O oh God, that you would heal this country, O oh King of glory. Father, so many of us, in fact, I'm sure everyone here, O oh God, has, has had pain, O oh God, for having lost a, a loved one, even over this pandemic, O oh King of glory. Either lost someone or someone is unwell, a family member, a relative, a friend, a neighbor. Father, we just pray that you would heal us, O oh God. We want to come against this uh, pandemic, this disease that has come to hit us. Father, we know that you will heal us, Lord, and we pray, Lord, that you'll get it away from us, O King of glory. We want to pray, O God, even especially for Nairobi, where we are, where the numbers are said to be rising. Father, we want to pray against that. We want to pray, O God, that even the news we are getting, the bad news we are getting from our media, Lord, that the bed, there are no beds. Father, we want to hear that the, the beds are empty. We pray that the ICU beds will, will start, they will start telling us that the ICU beds are now empty because Lord, you are healing us and you are taking care of us, oh God. We want to remember even our children, oh King of glory, that have finally managed to do their exams. We want to thank you even for those that have done their exams, oh King of glory. We pray, O oh God, even for the others starting today, Lord. Father, may you go before them. We pray, O oh God, even as they've had a lot of challenges, even as they study for these exams, because of this pandemic, Lord, that you will enable them to sit well for the exams, that they will remember, you will bring to remembrance everything they've read. They'll be able to concentrate, O oh King of glory. And Father, even as the results come out, we thank you for good reports, O oh God. We'll be careful to give you all the glory and honor. And now, Lord, I just pray again for, uh, for the women in business, oh God, that, Lord, uh, even as we start this day, guide us, give us wisdom, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for every speaker, oh God, that will be speaking, oh King of glory. Thank you for everyone here. And we just pray, oh God, that we'll have such a wonderful time and that we will keep, we'll continue to thank you, Lord, even for for everything, Lord, that you are doing in our midst. We thank you and we honor you, for it is in Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Uh, good morning and salam alaikum. Uh, me, I'll just uh, go straight to the point. I want just to pray for the nation and uh, women in business. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Arrahmanirrahim. Maliki yu middin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina al-sirata al-mustakim, sirata al-ladhina an'amta alayhin, ghayri al-maghdubi alayhin wa al-dhalin, ameen. Wa sallallahu ala sidina Muhammadin wa ala alia sahbihi wa sallam, wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very, very much. That is what we need from each other as women, we need to be supportive, we need to look at people's problems, and we have to solve it in a mature way. I want to take this time 
to thank you for the prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our du'as and prayers. At this juncture, I would want to welcome our president, Mary Mudoni. And before she comes, you know we were in a sad situation. And her being our pillar of hope, I urge you to again gain courage and be hopeful that everything will be okay. As she prepares herself to come, I'd like everyone to rise up and help me welcome our president, Madam Mary Mudoni. <laughs> 